Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Math 30-2, Chapter 6, Section 4, Modeling Data Using Exponential Functions, Part 2. Next question. Simon did an experiment to determine the cooling curve of water. She placed the same volume of hot water in three identical cups. She then recorded the temperature of the water in each cup as it cooled over time. The data for, for three trials is this. From one trial, two trials, three. So curve temperature. Now, construct a scatter plot to display the data. Determine the equation of the exponential regression function that model sign is data. We'll construct a scatter plot to display the data. Determine the equation of the exponential function, exponential regression function that model sign is data. So going back here, next to that, like that. So here I want to stress this. So one, L2. Now, careful. This is another L1 and L2. One, two. Alright. So what we have are three separate data tables that we're combining into one. Okay. Now there's a couple ways to do this. The easiest statistics edit clear erase. Go over, go up, clear. We're starting all over again. So time. Zero, five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. And the temperature for this is eighty, sixty-nine, one, forty-five, thirty-four, thirty-six. Alright? And then we do that again for the second. Zero, five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Four zero. Now we scroll over and put in our temperatures. Now I can't do that nicely on this screen, so I'm just gonna read it off for the second set of zeros. For the second zero, I'm sorry, it's seventy-five that started off. Sixty-six. Again for the third and final trial. A zero, five minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes, thirty minutes, and thirty minutes. Oh, could be could be could be could be could be could be five, ten, enter. So now my windows, I have to change from windows. My maximum my maximum time is 40 minutes. So 40. Now my temperatures. So it started at 80 was my maximum. And my minimum was like 25. So I'm going to leave it minimum 20. Maximum 80. And I'm going to go up and do it to 5 just because I can. There we go. That looks reasonable. There's my graph. Turn the equation of the exponential regression. So statistics. Calculate. And zero should be plus zero. Exponential regression. Yes, 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 yes. 78.68, 300, Calculator. 
There we go. It goes through most of all of my data points. It looks good. I'm happy. Okay. And of course, we have to answer some questions. For them. Now, if I'm going to pass, just pause the recording and we'll get Now, two questions to go with this. First, estimate the temperature of the water 15 minutes after the experiment begins. Seven to 140 courses for the table instead of 15. 50.99, 51 degrees. Okay. That's 50.99. Oh, that's 59. Now, if you put in your, you made a mistake putting in the data. Your answer will be out of place, and if you're quitting to be wrong, if you make it 50, 52. I'm not that picky. Why don't you show me your answer? Yes. Okay. Now, the last question. Estimate when the water temperature reached a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Around your answer, and there's a minute. Now, this is sneaky because this is Y. Temperature 30 degrees plus X. There's an easy way to do that. Now that's what I need you to be able to do. Plot the data, find the equation, and the questions based on that. Any questions? Yeah, I hope not. If you do, shoot me an email. You see me in class. Otherwise, good luck.